didn't think about Christmas this morning. I should have gotten my bread out. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Um, I want you guys to think back to yesterday morning. Did you get up to beautiful gifts in your living room, maybe? No? No gifts yesterday? We did it a little different. Jason had to work, so we had to wait until okay. the afternoon until he got home. All right. <laughs> so in the afternoon, yeah. did you get some beautiful gifts? Do you want to share maybe what one of your favorite ones was? Or even if you have a couple? <laughs> got a helmet for your four-wheeler. What color was it? Black and green. Are those your favorite colors? Mm-hmm. Kind of. What'd you get? A phone. A phone. A cell phone. Oh. So you probably have lots of friends already in it. You're texting already. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, a lot. We get a lot of gifts over the holidays and for Christmas. And I want you to use your imagination now. Okay. Pretend I'm holding a small box. They tell me to bring in all these different size boxes, but we're going to use our imagination. Pretend I have a small box in my hand. What kind of gift do you think would fit in that small box? A gift card. That'd be an awesome gift to have in a small box. Can you think of something? Money. Yesterday, I got a pretty bracelet for my stepson. It was in a small box. Now, let's think medium-sized box. Two hands to hold it. What kind of gift do you think might be in that box? A what? Uh, a ball. A ball? Basketball? Football? Definitely. Five pounds of money. Five pounds of money. That'd be a lot of money. <laughs> what do you think? A notebook. I was thinking maybe a new blouse or um, some new clothes. Now let's think of a big box. Bigger than me. Huge box. What do you think would come in that? Definitely, a motorcycle can go in a big box. What do you think? A dog, a dog especially a St. Bernard dog, huh? That didn't need a big <coughs> box. I was thinking sizes of televisions they make now, they come in really big boxes, or a refrigerator. So, have you ever heard of a person coming as a gift in a box? Not really. Um, I will say once I had a friend who went to the Army and they were away from their family for like 18 months, and as a special surprise for their parents when they came back from the army, they wrapped them up in a box and they surprised them and came out of the box. Wouldn't that be a wonderful gift? But what I want to share with you today is the best gift that we ever received didn't come in a box. Do you know who that was? Yes, Jesus. So God always gives us gifts, good gifts, but the greatest gift he ever gave us was Jesus. And he can't come in a box, but if he, he did, it would be a big box. Um, He was born in the world over 2,000 years ago in Bethlehem, and he is God's gift to the whole world, and that includes us. And he wants us to go out every day and almost pretend like it's Christmas every day and invite people to come to church to learn about his gift and how he loves all of us. So as a little homework assignment, I want you to go out Try to invite your friends back here to church. We need our church to grow. Mm-hmm. And the only way we can get new people to come is by inviting them, I think. And that's what Jesus wants us to do. But I want you to think about Jesus coming to the world as a gift, and he wants us to learn about him. And coming to church, offering in church, is the best way to learn about Jesus. And I hope you guys love coming to church, because I love coming and doing these messages with you. All right, let's say a little prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you for sending Jesus, who's the greatest gift in the whole world, Help us to know his life and his love and to share that love with others. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.